this is the new Turn Quick Haul, and it's a new, more affordable, compact cargo bike from Turn, the people that brought you our favourite e-bike ever, the GSD. Now you get loads of the versatility of the more expensive bikes, and nearly all of the compromises are sensible ones, so it's a great choice if you want a do-it-all city bike. Let's back up and quickly run through a bit of Turn history. The original Turn GSD arrived in 2017. Ever since then, it's been a firm favourite of ours. It's built around a long tail frame with small wheels and a powerful Bosch motor. And it's great. You can take two kids on it or give a friend a lift or do the weekly shop. And it's no bigger than a normal city bike. Then the HSD arrived in 2019. Same basic idea, less carrying capacity, a bit cheaper. And now this quick haul, which sits underneath both. The Quick Hall can carry 150 kilos in total, and this Atlas Q rear rack under here can handle 50 kilos. Now, that means you can't give lifts to big grown ups, but there's plenty of capacity for a child in a seat or a bigger kid on a bench seat. Here, we've got the Storm Box fitted, which gives you a big waterproof load space. There's a double mount point up at the front here as well, which you can fit another rack to, which gives you another 20 kilos of extra carrying capacity. Plenty of the stuff that Turn already makes will fit the new bike, so you can fit the cargo hold panniers or a Yep child seat or the clubhouse mini bars for smaller passengers. This Storm box uh, is also the base for the Storm Shield Mini, which is a sort of weatherproof tent for carrying a child around in any weather. There's also a soft crate you can put on the back, it just sits on the rack, and you can add a dog cover to that for carrying your canine companion, assuming that they're not too big. It's worth noting that the accessories can seriously bump up the price of this bike. So the build of the bike that we've got here is £3,000, but Turns Panniers are going to set you back an extra £200. And if you wanted the setup that we've got here with the storm box and the rack, that'd be an extra £500 or so on the base price. Even so, the bike is coming in at least £600 cheaper than the HSD for an equivalent setup. So where's the money being saved? Well, across the board, you can see that costs have been cut. Compared to the HSD P9, which uses the same Olivia 9-speed transmission, there's no suspension fork, there's no frame lock. The lights, the wheels and the brakes are a lower spec too. You get a cheaper seat post setup and a cheaper steer, although the bike's still easy to adjust. The quick haul will still stand on its end like the other turn bikes, but because there's no folding mechanism in the steerer here, it's not as compact when you do that. But what's it like to ride? Well, we've had this pre-production quick haul P9 for the last couple of months, and it's basically a production spec bike, except it has a larger 500 watt hour battery. It's a bit more fun to ride than the GSD, mostly because it's more compact and about 10 kilos lighter. It's a bit easier to manhandle into tight spaces like your shed too. The riding position is quite upright, more so than the GSD, and if you're tall like me, you might find it a touch cramped. But it's not a deal breaker, and it still fits a really wide range of rider sizes from a single size frame. The cheaper gears and the brakes functionally fine. The bar grips are cheaper and a bit less comfortable than the ergon grips that you get on the more expensive bikes. No front suspension definitely affects ride quality, but it's a sensible economy, and you do get the high quality Schwalbe tires. And the front light, isn't really enough light for going quickly down a dark hill, but it's ample for around town and being seen. Everything works really well, and keeping the clever design of the bike and the powerful Bosch motor at the heart and saving money elsewhere is definitely the way to go. There are two things I really miss from the more expensive bikes. The lack of a frame lock means it's not as easy to just pop into the shop, and the kickstand isn't anywhere near as stable as the Atlas lock stand on the GSD, which means you have to be a bit more careful when you're loading the bike, especially with a child in a seat. You can fit a frame lock and you can upgrade the stand. Both of those are worth doing at the point of purchase, really. This accessory setup is perfect for me. My kids are too big to cart around on this bike, so mostly I'm carrying work stuff and shopping. And I love the versatility of this waterproof storm box. You can just chuck a load of stuff into. And if your needs are different, then Term will probably have you covered. The Quick Haul is a really solid entry to the Term range, and if you only need to take one young passenger, then it could be all the cargo bike you need. Now, this is twice the price of something like a Rad Power Rad Runner, so whether you want to spend that much more, it's probably going to depend on how much of a benefit the Bosch Motors power is to you. Around Bath, here, the Turn fairly flies up the hill. This bike weighs about 10 kilos less than the GSD, so the assistance feels more powerful for the same motor. Now, we've got the more expensive of the two models here. So for 200 pounds less, you get less gears and the less powerful Active Line Plus motor. If you live somewhere flatter, then you probably wouldn't need the power that you get here. 
Like the HSD before, you don't have to think of the quick haul as a cargo bike. The GSD handles like a cargo bike, but the quick haul looks and behaves like a compact city bike until you want it to be a bit more versatile. So with the fold flat panniers at the back, it's compact and pretty light, but it's still got the carrying capacity and the motor power to get a pretty big grocery shop up a pretty steep hill, should you want to. It's that sort of versatility that it really scores highly for. With this storm box, it's more obviously a load carrier, but it's still pretty compact. Overall, the Quick Haul is a really easy bike to get on with, and if you're looking to replace car journeys with bike journeys, it makes a solid case for your cash. It'll do pretty much anything that the HSD will do for significantly less money, and the price puts it in more of a straight fight with standard city bikes, a fight that it's well equipped to win. It's not as good as the GSD, which remains my favorite bike of the three, but it's an excellent bike for the money, and it's easy to recommend. So, those are our thoughts on the new turn Quick Haul. Got any questions? Ask them below and we'll try to answer them. And if you want to see our review of the Quick Haul's big brother, the GSD, click on that video now. Cheers for watching.